He's a businessman that people can look up to. He's very influential, uh, not just in East Africa, but he's well known across the continent. And also for us, he's a man who started out at the very bottom. He started out selling pots and pans in Mombasa many, many decades ago, and he's worked his way up to being a powerful, influential businessman. You've got to think, fail, again take a risk, again go up, go three, four letters, go down again once or twice. His legacy is, is that, you know, you can fail and it's okay, keep going. You can, you can fall down, but don't collapse. In my way, what I have succeeded is that I've always been honest in my dealing. Here's a man who had to flee three countries through nationalization and troubled times. Here's a man who actually carried on, kept going, kept his head down, used all the guts that he had in his, uh, in his muster, and he, he carried on. Taking this is the main important criteria for an entrepreneur. I think a lot of people can find his tale inspirational. Uh, they can get an insight into leadership and also they can see, you know, what sort of a man it is who, who can fail and fall on his face and get up and go back to work next morning. You know, my father was uh, just full vernacular. He hardly speak. He couldn't speak English. He couldn't read, write. And uh, he was just an ordinary, started his shop after he failed to collect whatever little money that he wanted to collect, he failed to do so. So he decided that, okay, I'll set up my shop. And he found so much impediments. This is in 1916 in this country. He found so much impediments that he has to ask somebody to write a note, even if he went to post office box, if he has to go to the bank, if he has to import anything, or even negotiate. So he decided that the future of my children are not going to be any better unless I make them to go for education. So he, all his life, he really worked hard only for one aim, is to give a little better living for us, but education. And so we were the first in the family to go to university. We were the first couple of us went to United States we came back. Uh, it was about 1951 that we came back and joined the family. This man, we gave him Forbes Africa uh, Lifetime Achievement Award, our Person of the Year ceremony in Nairobi in 2013. To be an entrepreneur is that first, you must have the capacity to take risks, number one. Number two, hard work. Uh, number three, in my way, what I have succeeded is that I've always been honest in my dealing. Uh, I've created an environment to my clients, to my people, within the governments, wherever I work, uh, that I'm an honest person, that they can count on me. So I think that these are all the principles, but hard work and taking risks and not, and risk means sometimes you fall, but Taking this is the main important criteria for an entrepreneur.